So we're at Dr. Freight's Horror World. I was here last year. I quite enjoyed it last year. Let's see what it's like this year. Come on, my friends. Let's go in. <laughs> so um, this is uh, one that you can't film in the mazes on this one. So it's all uh, reviews afterwards. Um, we've got four mazes. Um, might as well go through them while I'm here. So we've got House of Wax. Yeah. Killer Clowns of the Caribbean. Monsters and Mad Men. And uh, Grindhouse in Wonderland. Uh, we'll see what it is. Um, don't know yet. Um, I've got to say thank you to um, Robert and uh, Dr. Fright for upgrading my tickets to uh, Fast Track. That means uh, we get to go in nice and quick and batched as a group. I'm here with my brother again. Hello. There he is. Uh, you may have seen him from the uh, horror at Hinchinbrook House. Uh, we loved that, didn't we? Absolutely. That's a fantastic Absolutely. event. Not a lot can beat that, but we're here now. Um, I did enjoy this event last year. Um, the thing that's good about this event is the jump scares, isn't it? They come out of everywhere. They come from the walls, they come from the ceiling. You've got dummies in the wall, oh, yeah. up against the wall. The you get them all over the place. They're kind of like, um, yeah, it's, um, it's great for jump scares, this one. So uh, we're going to get in, get it done. Here we go. Monsters and Mad Monsters and Mad Men, I think it was, yeah, wasn't it? Mad Men. Monsters and Mad Men. That was good. Horror movie themed, all the little horror movies. Jason, Freddy, uh, you name it, all, all the big ones, they're all in there. That's great. As usual, scares all over the place, scares coming from below, scares coming out of um, drop, drop hatches. Um, the theming's not fantastic in these. I think this is all about the jump scares, pretty much. Um, but I really like these um, because uh, that's great. We did get um, sandwiched between two groups. There was a group behind us of girls that were running, in, uh, running into us. And then um, we got trapped by another group in front of us who were going slow. So we had a fast group and a slow group and got sandwiched in between the two. It took a little bit away from uh, the scares that were in there, but um, I found it really good. I quite enjoyed that first maze. Um, what about Baz? Yeah, very good. Same, same, same again. It was uh, a bit of a shame about getting sandwiched between the two groups. Yeah, a nice bit more separation. We should have hanged back a bit, let them pass, and then... Yeah, that's yeah. what I was saying. The groups that were trying to push, push us on, we should have let them go in front. If they wanted to run in front, yeah. we should let them go in front. Um, we'll do that again. We'll uh, learn from that if that happens again. Um, and if there's a group in front, we can always hang back, can't we? Um, so, but yeah, quite enjoyed that. There's nothing wrong, no fault of uh, the maze. The maze was great, wasn't it? Yeah, very good. So, um, very good. yeah, quite quite short, about 10 minutes. Yeah, if that, yeah, it's good, but um, yeah, good. Quite enjoyed that one. Let's move on to the next one, whatever that is. Ibiza. But um, yeah, there we go. Right, there we go. That's uh, 
killer clowns of the of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean make some killer clowns. Great. I like how they keep changing this killer clown thing up. Um, and um, I do prefer it to the last year's one, the Ibiza one. We had a bad ending last year because I, if I remember rightly, the ending, there was a couple of um, girls in there, a couple of clowns in the middle. They were chatting to each other yeah. and we walked straight past them. And that really annoyed me how um, they spoiled the ending by chatting to each other. Um, but this one, great. We've got scares all over the place. Good theming. We haven't been in the chainsaw one yet, but I can hear chainsaws coming out. But yeah, really enjoyed that. Well, that was a big group coming out. <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed that one. That was, yeah, nice um, sexy uh, pirate clowns. <laughs> I liked them. They were good. Uh, yeah, not much else to say about that other than I could have a good strong maze. Um, it seemed a bit longer than last time, you think? Yeah, slightly longer. So we weren't pushed on. Um, yeah, anything. that's the point. Yeah, we weren't pushed on by um, other girls, so uh, that was good. We even hang back a bit because we saw a bit of group in front. So, um, yeah, really enjoyed that one. Uh, tell you something though, wouldn't want to be waiting in these hour long queues. Um, if I were you, um, I'd buy a fast track if you're going to come here. It's another £10 extra for a fast track. Well worth it to jump them queues and you get batched on your own. So we're in your group. So uh, if you come with a group of two, you go through in a group of two with your fast track. Oh yeah, much better. Pinocchio! Right, so the next one we're doing is um, Grindhouse in Wonderland. I don't know, House in Wonderland, this is Chibeto here, so this is a um, Pinocchio reference. He's up there as well. Don't know, is it Pinocchio, Alice in Wonderland? Who knows, we'll find out. So that was um, Grindhouse in Wonderland, um, but Disney themes, lots of um, Disney characters, the music was Disney music that was all rocked up. Uh, chainsaw at the end, chainsaw run out. I quite like that. We've got some scares all over the place once again. I think as many jump scares as we've had so Not far. As many, no. Um, but still good fun ones. More more of a fun maze, I think. Yeah. Rather than, um, than a jump scare all over the place. But good. I like the little star room they had with the lasers everywhere. That was a good one. Yeah, that yeah. That was a good room. Thing, yeah. Um, yeah, so I quite enjoyed that one. I think we've got one more to do now. So, uh, whatever that House of Wax, isn't it? No, that was Yes, one. House of Wax. Uh, Give that a go, see what it's like. Yeah. Nice. told it was the scariest when we went in, but um, I don't think it was. I think I preferred the um, horror movie one. Uh, so um, there was mannequins around and there was um, mannequins all over the place really. They could have done more with those mannequins. Um, more people jumping out, more people pretending to be mannequins. But there was just one person pretending to be a mannequin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, walking through a lot of mannequins, it wasn't really... Yeah. Well, I love the scare jumps where you don't know if it's real or if it's a mannequin or what it is. Um, so um, I think um, they could have done more with that, especially with the end in there. Um, some sort of plague doctor, wasn't it? And um, the, the strobe was a really slow strobe, so it was um, darkness and a quick flash of light. You could hardly see what was going on. It, it would have been better if it was a faster, faster strobe. So it had the strobe effect, but you could still see. Um, I'm not sure, I think um, probably um, my least favourite. It's still a good one. Um, I still like it. And um, yeah, that, but um, 
I think they could have probably done more with that. I, I, I remember last year they had um, lots of mannequins all over the place, and they got lots of scares from um, uh, thinking uh, there was going to there were mannequins. Not sure whether there were mannequins or real people, um, and that wasn't. I haven't really. Uh, they haven't really utilised that. Here, no, 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 no. There was no one there pretending to be a mannequin. No. Just mannequins, and then there was somebody Which jumped was, out at you. But. Yeah. I, 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 they missed a trick there, I think, because um, that's one of my favourite effects, uh, along with uh, strobes and smoke. I do love a strobe and smoke effect. They haven't used used that here either, but um, yeah, that was that was good. I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed, oh, the four mazes. Um, I don't know. I think my favourite was uh, the uh, first one we did. I think. Uh, so I think you'd agree with that. Yeah. Same as last year, yeah. my favourites oh, were the order we did it. Which is a bit, a bit strange, really. Um, why does that work? Maybe you just get used to the script. I don't know. But um, yeah, yeah. I think the, the first one was the best. Second, third, fourth. The order we did them in. Um, maybe if I did them in a different order, I would have done them like different. Who knows? And also, I always say. Um, your run-throughs are always different. You never know what you're going to get in different run-throughs. So, um, yeah, you, you never know, do you? Um, some things could be better one day and some things could be better another day. Yeah, we did catch up with another group in there. We had another group Yeah, the same thing again of that um, being it can, sandwiched. It can really dampen your experience if you get sandwiched between a group. Yeah, it, it's quite a busy event, this is. So um, they're trying to send groups through quite fast, maybe 30 seconds. Maybe? Yeah, yeah. Um, and that, that is um, a quite a quick turnover um, and you can re really easily get caught up with or caught, catch up to someone else. Um, they probably can't change it because the amount of people coming to this event, unless they put in another two mazes or something like that to, uh, to filter out the people. But, um, There's a lot of people in the queues. The queues there are, is. I'm thinking of, every queue is full. I'm thinking yeah. probably 100, 120 people yeah. in each queue. Nobody in the fast track at all. No, no, they don't all sell the fast tracks. Which is really strange. It's an extra £10. And I really recommend getting those fast tracks because yeah. um, if we didn't get them, I probably would have been put a downer on the night having to wait yeah. in them queues. An hour um, queue for a bit of an anti-climax. Yeah, a 10 minute maze maybe is, um, yeah, it's a bit too much. But uh, it's still a great event. It's really good um, mazes, strong mazes, good jump scares. I think um, this event is probably um, one of the best places for jump scares because they're all over the place, aren't they, the jump scares? I don't think there were so many this year as last year. I've no, only had one yeah. above us this year. Yeah, only the one above us last and, year. I'm sure there was a couple of times yeah. they had that, yeah. Uh, and, and also in the actor runs, I think last year they were popping out all over the place. Yeah. And they uh, go and running down the run, actor run and hey, you'll come out there and they'll come out in another place. I did notice, I think and, part of that was that they were trying to keep up with the amount of groups coming yeah. in so they didn't get to use to utilise all the runs as much. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I think, I, I yeah, think that's right. Yeah, they kind of scared the next group that are coming in rather than going to the end of the next run. Yeah, you might. they might get caught with a group in front and not get to you in time. And it's, yeah. So, I don't know if there is a quieter time to come, but uh, no, maybe um, right at the start of the night you get here for opening. But uh, I think if you're going to come at eight o'clock or something, it's going to be busy. You got to be prepared. And um, we're Sunday night. This is um, I think the last night's tomorrow night. Um, but it's weekend. Maybe if you came on a weekday, it'd probably be a bit quieter yeah, as quite well. Possibly, yeah. So um, maybe that's something to consider in the future if you want to get more of them scares. Excuse the shadows, people are walking in front, so uh, <laughs> that's what's going on. We just, it's hard to get a bit of light uh, without all the music playing. I'm trying to do it outside the exit of the mazes uh, without all the music playing. But yeah, that's our sum up of the night. We had a good night. Yeah, absolutely. It's okay. Absolutely. And I'm glad I got the fast track, so thank yeah, you to Robert once fast again. Tracks. Well worth yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Put that extra ten pound on a ticket. Get yourself a fast track. That's what I say. Uh, yeah. So that's it from me at uh, Dr. Bright's Horror World. Goodbye. See you in another video. And goodbye. Bye.